dear brothers and sisters i welcome you all to hear and see this video message in this video i am going to explain violence against christians in india on 2022 content for this video i given in the description you can go through and study imagine being a christian in india we have gathered on sunday as christians do to practice worshiping of jesus christ through prayers and songs on communion suddenly a screaming mob of hundreds of angry young men many armed with iron rods or other weapons barges into our peaceful prayer hall to begin thrashing worshipers and dragging them out of the sanctuary while they smash everything in sight this has become routine for indian christian christian living under bjp rule federation of indian american christian organization of north american exclusively on india during 2022 fiacana that is federation of indian american christian organization recorded 1198 incidents of violence against indian christians it is a 157 percentage increase from the 2021 data thousands of attacks are believed to have never been reported the reported violent atrocities against the christians by the hindutva terror groups have substantially increased to a total of 1198 during the calendar year 2022 as opposed to a total of 761 incidents collected in 2021 the number of assaults where christians sustained physical injury stands at 321 in each incident several people were injured and majority required hospitalization there were 107 incidents of property damage and 35 attacks where church buildings sustained substantial physical damages a total of 355 instances where christians were arrested on false charges of converting hindus to the christian faith in india on 2022 although no christian charged under this law has even ever been found guilty it places an unreasonable financial and emotional burden on christians in each such incident many christians were arrested making the number of people arrested much higher in some cases police arrested the christians and held them for several days without charging them before releasing them eventually in 248 attacks charges were filed against the christian victims of which 243 cases were filed under the anti conversion laws passed by the bjp run states it means the hindu militia would first attack either a house prayer meeting or a church gathering under the pretext that a conversion ceremony is being held then call the police the police arrest the christians charging them with conversion under the anti conversion laws only in 31 instances have police agreed to file cases against the assailants it is important to note that in 11 such incidents when the christian victims of violence asked to file a case against the specific leaders of the bjp and its hindu militia the police refused several christian victims complains that police accompanied the hindu militia at the time of the attacks on 2022 hindu militia disturbed 416 prayer meetings and worship sessions in more than 289 in such cases the victims have reported that the hindutva militia was accompanied by the local police it indicates that the police were not only acting as an extension of the hindutva militia but a large number of attacks were pre planned to arrest christians during the sunday service without the state government's approval the police could not have taken the side of the hindutva militia against the christians in almost all incidents reported across india on 2022 vigilante mobs comprising religious extremists 
have been seen to either barge into a prayer gathering or round up individuals that they believe are involved in forcible religious conversions. With impunity, such mobs criminally threaten and are physically assault people in prayer before handling them over to the police on allegation of forcible conversions. Often, communal slogganering is witnessed outside the police stations whether, where the police stand at as mute spectators. Sadly, this violence against the Christian community is compounded by the failure of the police to investigate and prosecute mobs and perpetrators. Almost all of the attacks have been conducted by the organized mobs of 50 and 100 and or even 500 people. One of the first things that vigilante mobs do is to snatch phones to the victims are unable to document violence while perpetrators unfailingly make digital records of their own violent actions and then post it to various social media platforms. The control of the social media narrative by the perpetrators of religious violence is reflected in traditional media, local television and newspapers who cover such instances often ethos echo the version pushed by the Hindutva mobs and vigilantes. In some instances where it is not possible to spin the incident against the religious minorities, the media simply does not cover the incident. On December 18, 2022, Christians in 20 villages in the Narayanpur and Kondahan districts in Chhattisgarh, state of India were attacked by radical Hindu nationalists for refusing to reconvert from Christianity to Hinduism. Local villages forced approximately 200 Christians from 70 families to leave their homes. There were 20 coordinated attacks on Christians around the state that day. According to the Evangelical Fellowship of India, the villagers said the Christians must renounce their faith or leave the area. When some protested, they were beaten. The fellowship said some Christians were hospitalized because of their injuries and police refused to take action when the victims filed complaints against their attacks. Throughout the year 2022, destruction of property including places of worship in predominantly Muslim and Christian neighborhoods continued. Hindu nationalists bulldozed a Catholic center near Mangalore in February 2022 and attacked, looted and destroyed the homes of hundreds of Christians in December 2022 for their refusal to convert Hinduism. There were 227 instances of hat crimes in Tamil Nadu between 2014 and 2022 in which Christian communities, pastors and churches were targeted by Hindutva extremists. Nearly half of the incidents, 117 were reported from the Kongu region and nearby made up of Coimbatore, Erode, Dharmapuri, Krishnagiri, Salem, Namakkal, Karur, Dindukal, Tirupur as well as the parts of Madurai district. This region which is dominated by the landed and politically influenced counter and thaver castes is otherwise notorious for atrocities against Dalits. Koyamuttur, the Hindutva laboratory of Tamil Nadu and stronghold of the Hindu Munnani topped with 42 incidents of hate crimes. With Hindu nationalist RSS occupying the highest leadership positions at the national level, religious persecution against Christians and Muslims will likely continue indefinitely. So, Christian organizations contend that the local governments cannot be trusted and often encourage organized coordinated attacks on religious minorities. They are asking the Supreme Court to oversee criminal investigations of local police and government. In October 2022, a panel of former Supreme Court justices and former judges from Kai Courts and a former national government official reviewed hundreds of cases against Christians. They found that in 752 of the 758 cases, 
99 percentage of the cases the police could have lessened or prevented violence. They also found many discrepancies in police reporting of the incidents. The lack of celerity, severity and certainty of Hindu extremist punishment has allowed violence to persist without punishment. This below data shows that attacks against Indian Christians were premeditated, organized, meticulously planned and executed by India's Hindutva political groups and their networks of organization working closely with law enforcement and other agencies of the Hindu nationalist government. Each year India's internal security and its national minority commission officially list more than a hundred religiously motivated acts of violence which are committed against Christians, but the actual number of such attacks is probably higher because Indian journalist estimates that only about 10 percentage of such attacks are ever reported. These attacks include the ransacking of churches, monasteries and other Christian institutions, the burning of copies of the Bible, the discrimination of the cemeteries and the murder of the priests and missionaries and the sexual assaults of nuns. Most incidents go unreported due to the fear of reprisal and lack of confidence in India's justice system. Total number of violent events is 1,198 Christians killed 3, physical assault and injury 321, burial denied to Christian families 23, villages that expelled Christians in India 75, Christians expelled from villages 281, Christians including family members affected 800 plus, residential homes damaged 30, property damaged 107, churches damaged 35, worship service disturbed 343, number of incidents where Christians were converted to Hinduism under threat 17. Christians converted to Hinduism under threat 35. First information reports th against Christians were permitted to file against perpetrator 32. Number of incidents where FIRs were not accepted by police in India 11. Incidents where F FIRs were filed by extremists against the Christian victims in India 248. Number of incidents where Christians arrested 355, total number of people directly affected 11,016, number of Christians including family members affected 66,293, Christians terrorized through violent crimes by Hindutva militants 30 million. Bible talks about atrocities against Christians in India. In Job chapter 19 verse 7, Thou I cry violence, I get no response, and if I shall make an appeal, there is none who redeems me.